When we were little, we were told we can do anything we want to do when we grow up. As long as we work hard and put our mind to it, we can do anything. The sky is the limit. This is my story. I have a dream. I have a dream. Are you ready for the heavyweight championship of the world? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? From the capital city of the United States of America, Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Then life hit me. <laughs> I fell in love with a curly-haired, big-eyed, angry Latina I called my angel, Lucifer. So I became a comic. And all my black people here, white people, if you ever wonder why it, there's a table full of Mexicans, they're like, oh, y'all came in the same car, and it is true, they all did from the same car. <laughs> but be careful, because they're leaving in a different car when they leave the club. <laughs> yes, sir, a different club. Yeah. But that's all gonna change soon. I'm making a comeback. From punch line to punch out. Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? I'm Jerry Carrillo. Some of y'all may know me at the clubs as El Chicano or Jerry Love. Ladies might know me as Papi Chulo. Calm down. At my job, they know me as Mr. Carrillo. HPD knows me as cellmate 53627-26. I'm just kidding, I don't got a job, at least not a regular job. You know, in my profession, I gotta do a lot of odd jobs to pursue my dream and be a successful performer and make it into Hollywood. And if they don't wanna let me in, I'm gonna break in, that's for sure. As a professional choreographer, professional actor, professional comedian, or now, as a professional boxer, that's right professional boxer. I know it's gonna be a hard journey, it's gonna be a hard road, but got a lot of love for the sport, a lot of respect, and hey, I'm already trained, so might as well try to try to win a little bit. Going from punch line to punch out. All right, this is the breakdown. I'm gonna let you know what's gonna be going on, on my process, on my journey from professional comedian to professional boxer. I'm gonna keep a video diary every day of things I'm doing to train and prepare myself to be a professional boxer. From training, to eating habits, to uh, extracurricular activities. My extracurricular activities, all the good and bad and juicy stuff that boxers have to go through in order to prepare themselves for a bout. So you be there with me, we'll do this together. We'll see if I got what it takes to be a professional fighter and win my first fight, or will I get my ass whooped? Who knows? Every Sunday at 7 p.m. I'm gonna post a new video on my Facebook and YouTube, so like that you can keep up and follow me. You can follow me on Twitter as well. All right. Let's begin my training with a hearty meal. Yes, sir. We got important nutrients for training. To maximize my performance, I'm going to need vitamin D and C, potassium, calcium, iron, protein, healthy fats, tomatoes, and lettuce. Bon appetit, baby. That's right. Good source of protein. <laughs> and puts the fire in your punches. Mm. I'm ready. I'm ready for training. Nalga muscle. This is for your nalga. Straight to the nalga. I need that nalga muscle to do my, to do my, have my knockout punch. That one hit a quarter. Bam! 
Chile. For the fire inside me. Okay. The protein. The protein, baby. Protein. Huh. Oh. Oh. I bit my cheek. Before my first sparring match, I got some advice from a well-known, well-respected boxing coach, Ray Ontiveros, the 2000 Olympics Developmental Coach of the Year. Uh, what, what does it take to become a successful professional boxer? You're not going to get up there and become a world champion or make money right off the bat. You have to start up crawling, then walking, and then you must take off running. There's only one in a thousand or one in fifteen thousand that make it into in the good professional ranks. A dime a dozen per se, but there's only a few that really make the big times and make the big money. Man, no man, no. I got a better chance than winning the lottery. Just kidding. So how long before I get good enough to fight? For at least three months, you gonna get in tip top shape. You gonna go six rounds sparring just for four round for a four round uh, bout. That look good. I'm gonna do that shit right now. What's up? This is Jerry Carrillo. I'm right here at Race Boxing Gym doing a little training, trying to get ready to, to fight pro or whatnot. I'm gonna do my first sparring session right now. Uh, if y'all if, if don't know who I'm sparring, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. He's a little tall, he's a little big, but it's all good. He like. Oh, he got a little something. He got, all right. He, he like Drago, but it's okay. I just watched Rocky Five. I'm ready to do a little one, two, one, two. Let's go try, check it out. See if we, what, what, what round I knock him out in. Come on. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I, it, but no excuses. No excuses. I mean, even though I've been having a rough week, and you know, I think it's affected my performance today. But no excuses. You know, he's a good fighter. You know, I'm not trying to take nothing away from him. But I did get fired on my day off this week. You know, it's pretty bad. And and my neighbor, they cut his cable off. So now I don't have cable. I mean, and I was really looking forward to watching American Idol. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it now. I don't even know who won. Uh, shoot. No, no excuses though. It, he's a good fighter. Uh, he had a, he landed a couple good punches, and uh, you know I I underestimated him. I, I really did underestimate him. Even though he did have freakishly long arms, like a freaking avatar, you know. So I don't know when he get that check, you know. It's all good. It happens. You win some and you lose some, but that's the process in becoming a good fighter. But it's not gonna stop me. I'm not gonna stop. That's for sure. 
I'm a man on a mission and I will become a successful fighter. I just need to go back to the fundamentals and uh, review the tapes. Uh, that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to review all the Rocky tapes and uh, see what I, where I went wrong. Uh, because, I mean, maybe I need to start running at 6 a.m. Or, or, you know, chasing chickens or drinking raw eggs, becoming a loan shark. I don't know. One thing I do know is that come next week, I will be better prepared to spar. And I will whoop that ass. Remember, Sunday at 7 p.m. I will post the next episode uh, of my journey from professional comedian to professional boxer. From punchline to punch out. Boom. Alright, Sunday at 7 p.m. on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. If you don't have my address or you haven't friended me yet, uh, my address is right here. There it goes. So friend me, follow me on my journey, and uh, we're going to see if I can make it as a professional fighter. From punchline to punch out. God bless you. Later.